Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing this really cool technique that has been going around Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going to start off with some builder gel and we're going to place this onto the pan. Now I am using clear. You guys can use whatever color you guys have in hand. Just make sure it's a builder gel. And then I'm going to go ahead and tint this with a shellac CND shellac gel polish. They're all the same guys. Just whatever color you guys have in hand. And go ahead and have fun with it and then we're going to go ahead and mix these two together now with our gel brush we're going to go ahead and place this all over our nail now keep in mind if you're doing this on a natural nail just try not to get it too much onto the side so that it won't run into our skin and um yeah pretty much you'll see why in a minute so this is what we're going to be doing all around our nail like so and then we're going to use a piece of plastic. Now you guys can use a bag, saran wrap, whatever you guys have in hand. This, what I'm using right now is a shower cap from Dollar Tree. I just cut a piece out and it worked fine for me. And then I'm going to head in with a dotter. And in front of the lamp, I'm going to be making these creases, wrinkles. This is the whole point of the, des of the design, guys. So I find it was much easier for me to do it in front of the lamp so that it will cure as I was pushing everything, you know, in place. And then we're going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So this is what we have. And we're going to go ahead and pull this off. So that's that. And then we're going to go in with a gold chrome. You guys, again, can use whatever you guys have. Um, just have fun with it. Try different colors and see what you get out of it every time. This is so fun to do and practice. So I'm just going ahead in with my finger and making sure that I'm getting in all the creases and um, just covering the whole, the whole design. And there we have it. So now we're going to go in with a black polish. And I'm just going to take a couple drops of this. And again, you guys see I'm using different brands. So it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go ahead with a gel top. So this is a non-sticky layer gel top. Um, doesn't have an inhibition layer. So go ahead and mix those two. And then with our brush, we're going to go ahead and grab this. And we're going to place it over the nail. So what this is going to create is some shadow effect. Really nice shadow effect. And this is what makes the design pop. So... Make sure you're getting a line, a nice thin layer and distributing this all over the nail. Um, sides go up around. Make sure you get in there. So this is what it looks like. And then now we're going to go ahead and encapsulate with a clear acrylic. And then I'm going to go ahead in with my Legacy Kalinsky number 8 brush. Now you guys know this is my favorite. I think I've said it before in my other videos. But yeah, pretty much I go for a number 8. And you guys can see... Um, I'm able to control my pearls a lot better with this um, brush, so that's why I recommend it a lot. Now I'm just going ahead in with one bead and I'm trying to pull this down, just stretching this bead down completely because I want to get into every crease because this nail has texture to it. So you want to make sure you really get in there so when you come back to file, you won't have any holes in there. So now I'm going to go ahead with another bead. And I'm going to stretch this bead as well because we want a nice thin layer, but just enough to be able to file and not um, not have our, our design peek through. So yeah, hopefully you guys understood that. So that's what I'm doing for now. As you can see, just softly patting that into place and making sure that my application is really nice and clean. So there you have it. Now we're going to go ahead and let this dry and then come back and file. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that file right underneath or beneath the nail. And then I'm going to kind of like bring it up a little bit and like lay it towards my sidewall. Um, because you want to stay with the same shape the nail already has. So don't over file guys. Just go ahead and clean it up. And then now we're going to go from top to bottom and file this completely to make our guideline and then we're going to go around um what is it side up around and down <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead in with our file 
our e-file and we're just going to clean this up a bit now make sure you have it on a very low speed again you do not want your design to peek through this because that's the whole point of the design guys so make sure you're keeping it nice and clean nice and thin and then not over filing guys so that's pretty much what i'm doing here and then we're going to go ahead and buff this now i'm going to use my legacy nail shape and buff this is my favorite buffer guys so you're going to go ahead and buff that out up down and around that's what i wanted to say earlier so yep that's it and then we're going to go ahead and dust this off as you guys can see we can already see the design and now we're going to top this off with again our legacy um pearl top so this is one of my favorites um and you guys can see how beautiful this looks look how beautiful so go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds guys and then there you have it so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're here new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram if you guys want to recreate this and do other colors. Make sure you guys tag me. Um, yeah, and see you in my next video, guys.